What's up fam? I'm coming through with another video on this Monday morning and in today's topic we're going to talk about narcissism and we're going to talk about how narcissists are created and how it all boils down to this because nobody is born a narcissist. Everybody is capable of having regular feelings and normal emotions and being a normal person with empathy, with love, with care, with compassion. But narcissists are created through 90, 95% of the time, maybe even a higher percentage from birth up until their young childhood because at such a young age their feelings were not validated. Their own feelings were basically looked down upon. They couldn't regulate their own emotions with their parents, the people they grew up with. Their own parents were messed up. Their own parents. Their own parents' feelings was invalidated probably at some point. Their own parents could not regulate their own emotions, let alone their kids, and understand their kids because they don't understand their own. If they don't understand their own emotions, they are incapable of understanding anybody else's emotions, and this is what this is. People with empathy understand their own emotions, and they can understand other people's emotions as well. They understand what people feel. And even to this day, like, it's crazy how, it's crazy how much empathy I really have and how much understanding I really have. I think it's just because I'm naturally an intelligent person, but I think there was just moments in my life and certain things that happened that made me like this. I was always naturally like this. I was always naturally a healer. I feel like I was doing this shit from a very young age because <clears throat> I grew up in a broken family. Whether anybody where I come from wants to believe that or not, people have the audacity to think certain things that they don't even fucking know about. You know what I mean? But I grew up in a broken family. Um, my mother had a very hard life. I see her life. I see her past for what it was. She lost her husband whenever I was just two years old. And a lot of people told, like, I wasn't old enough to know what was going on at this time, but a lot of people told me she was not the same ever since this happened, and I believe it because. I feel like I was a caretaker at such, at such a young age. I felt like I was mature at such a young age, naturally. Because most kids that grow up without having solid parents and solid people in their life to build them up, end up messed up. But I feel like I was always... I, like, I was just like given something different. I can't even explain it. Because... I felt like I was in a caretaker position where I was taking care of people since a very young age. Although I was being taken care of as well, like, I was obviously being fed, being given a home, food, shelter, all these things. But when it comes to emotions, I feel like I always had it. I feel like I always knew me. From a young age. And with this being said, I was surrounded by a lot of people too, guys, like other than parents. Like, I was surrounded by my neighbors, very loving people. I remember this before I was even five years old. I remember things when I was three, four, ages like this. Not two and below, but three, four, I remember. And five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, 
I was surrounded by a lot of loving people and I think this definitely helped as well. It had to have. I had a lot of friends. I had a lot of family. I had a lot of these other things too. We had a lot of support. My mother had a lot of support. And it was just me and her for a while, for at least three or four years that I can remember being alive. And then she met somebody else. He came in and... That definitely helped her out a lot. Good guy. Um, so yeah, like, it was a broken family. It's not a regular family. It's not a well put together family. Only child. Mother that lost her husband. How is this not broken? You know what I mean? Of course it's broken. But, with that being said, we did have a lot of support. We had a lot of family that came over all the time. We were surrounded by a lot of people. We were given so much. She got a lot from the things that had happened. It's like every single person was just like supporting us as much as they could. People were visiting all the time. People were over all the time. They were giving us a lot of love. So like I feel like like this this definitely helped. This I was given so much love in this way at a young age. So that could be why I take care of people myself the way that I do. And I think it's just unique. It's a it's a unique upbringing. You don't hear this too often in this exact way. But this is what happened. This is how it went. And when it comes like when it comes to narcissists being created, I'm gonna get back to this. It's because they don't have any of that. They have they might have parents and just live with their parents and just see their parents and their parents aren't even paying attention to them. They don't really see aunts and uncles, cousins, too much. They probably see them some, but not enough. They're probably not giving a whole lot of love. They're not being paid attention to. Their emotions are not being validated, things like this. This is what, this is what creates narcissists. They feel so alone, so empty at such a young age, and they grow up with that hole. And they have deep insecurities inside themselves. For the rest of life because of this that's why they need therapy and I think therapists like they're not doing it right they can be explaining things to them but like if things don't click the way that they should these people need a lot of love they need a lot of attention they need a lot of they need to talk with people that know what they're talking about for long 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 periods of time one session is not going to do anything it can give them better understandings, but like understanding at this point is not enough. They need a lot of attention that they miss. They need a lot of love. They need a lot of care. They need people in their life like this consistently for an extended period of time. And over time, I believe this is what's going to cure this. But like I said, they need this consistently. And I believe that is what could cure a narcissist. I believe there's a lot of people in today's society and day and age I see a lot of people I know people that are right and that aren't right I know this it's not hard to see people that have a lot of hate a lot of anger a lot of jealousy envious types of people that just hate other people that are doing good or shining in any way shape or form people that are thriving these people hate these people because they want to be this but they're not this for whatever reason they can't they can't be this way. That's not going to help them. They really have to hit rock bottom and accept that and build from rock bottom. It's rock bottom is going to teach you more lessons than anything else in this life. I hit rock bottom. Like, I feel like I had a good at a young age. There were still things that were missing. It could have been better. I mean, people that grow up in damn near perfect families, like they, that's, that's pretty much perfect, you know what I mean? Nothing's perfect. I shouldn't say that, and I don't mean it like that, but like, you guys know what I mean, like, mother and father, some brothers and sisters, a loving, caring family with some more relatives, other people, things like this, that's as perfect as you can get, but, I didn't grow up like that, um, 
I feel like I had everything I needed and I had just enough that pushed me through. So, a lot of people had a lot of love for me, thank God. But it got worse as I got older. Like, things started to get worse, but I think what's most important is that upbringing. Because I'll never let that leave my heart. You know what I mean? I'll never let anybody turn me cold. I'll never let anybody turn me into a narc. I'll never let any of these situations happen. Whenever I feel like there are situations that was close to it happening, I know what I went through already. Nothing can change me. Nothing is going to take that true love away out of my heart. I'll forever be a caring person. But at the same time, I'm not going to let these individuals near me because these are the individuals that can turn you cold. These are the individuals that are very capable of ruining your life, of ruining you as a person, of turning you into something that they are. That's not what you want to be. If it wasn't for that, I probably would let them around me. I probably would help them. But you help people like this, you let people like this around you, and you're the next one. You're going to pay a heavy-ass price when you do something like this. And I learned this. I was always somebody that wanted to help everybody, but you help everybody and you can be in some deep shit because you can lose yourself helping the wrong people. You can lose yourself giving too much of yourself away to certain people that take it for granted that just take it and run with it. That is narcissistic abuse. That's what they do. And it's devastating. It affects you. These things affect you a lot. That's why I do my own thing on my own time. I help people every single day that I'm alive right now. There's not one day in a 24 hour period that I'm not helping somebody doing something. I'm constantly doing this. Constantly. And I feel I'm doing it in the healthiest way possible. Because you can't just help certain people and let them take advantage of you like that because that does hurt. It does hurt. And it's going to affect you. I did it before. I was there for certain people that just completely wrote me off and it, that shit hurts guys that shit hurts i was there for a lot of females i put a lot of time into certain girls and when they just treat you so bad after all you did for them and you weren't even expecting nothing back in return maybe you were expecting a healthy friendship that's about it just a regular, normal thing. You're not expecting nothing extra in return. You're not expecting something off the charts from these people. You just want something healthy with this person. You're just looking for normal. You know what I mean? And when they when they literally do things on purpose to hurt you, that shit hurts. That's why you have to stay away from these types of people. Because these are narcs. And they were hurt very bad growing up. And they're going to do the exact same thing to you. And it can affect you. you. You can turn into an arc later on in your life. Like I said, I know friends that I've had in the past that it has happened to because they weren't like that. They actually had some empathy and care for other people. Like, even in their teens. So that just goes to show you are capable of turning into a narc at any age. You can turn in, you can... Have empathy your whole life up till 30, 35, and turn into a narc. It, it is possible. It can happen. It's possible. But if you know psychology on a deep level, it's not going to happen to you. Because you're going to see everything for what it is. It's just not going to happen. Unless you let it happen. So. This is something to think about. It's very, this is very interesting stuff to me. This is very fascinating stuff. And how all this works. The thing is, I think it's a, I think it's a pretty big weakness if you turn into a narc like later on in your life. I think that is a pretty big weakness on somebody as a human being. You have to be strong enough to know the truth of certain situations and know that. These people were out to hurt you and to get you, and it has nothing to do with you. You have to let go of these situations and heal from these situations. You can't just start hurting.
hurting other people, turn right around and start disrespecting other people and hurt other people and turn into something like that because of what this person did to you. That's what turns people into narcs and they continue this behavior for the rest of their lives and it's sad to see because I've seen it happen to certain friends in the past. I think there's a lot of people around my age right now that have a lot of hole, like a lot of holes inside of themselves and they're not filling these holes and they're not filling these gaps and it's sad to see. They don't know why they're not happy, but the main thing in life is being happy. It matters more than money. It matters more than material possessions. It matters more than your own friendships and relationships. Your own happiness matters more than anything because you can have all these things, but if you're not happy and you have holes inside of you, you are doomed. The real key in life is inner happiness. That's the biggest thing in this life. And you're going to know this as you go through life. People can make mistakes for a long ass time and decide suddenly one day they're going to make a change. And let's just pray for all people like this. Let's pray for these types of people because they need it. So, that is that guys. I'm going to end this video here. I'll be back right around the corner with another video. Until next time, I'm out.